the scene is now wrapped up a couple hours ago, but Chief Rick Edwards was out here on scene as well. Uh, an emotional situation, of course, with what happened here, and here's what we've learned thus far from police. Police rushed to this restaurant in broad daylight Wednesday. This Broad Rock Boulevard spot turned into a crime scene after someone attempting to rob the place apparently shot and killed an employee. Oh, you talk about, talk about brazen. Around 10.30 a.m., dispatch got a call about something stolen and a person hurt in the Lindo Market and Restaurant on Broad Rock. On the way, officers, the uh, call was clarified to be a robbery and a shooting. Officers arrived and found an adult male, a staff member of the restaurant, down and unresponsive from a, a gunshot wound. We're told during a robbery attempt, the employee intervened and an altercation with the suspect or suspects ended in the shooting. The victim was pronounced dead on scene, police say. The detectives are investigating this. It's a death investigation right now. They're interviewing witnesses uh, in the restaurant, uh, potential witnesses outside and across the street. Of course, they're gathering information and possible uh, video from around the area. Nearby J.L. Francis Elementary was placed on lockdown following the shooting, which was lifted shortly thereafter. As you can see, a large group of family members of the man killed gathered closely together on scene. Our crew asked if they would like to say any words, and the group said thank you, but not right now. But you don't need words in many cases to see the immense hurt caused by a senseless loss of life. Detectives obviously would want all the information uh, to be able to uh, catch these people and make sure it doesn't happen again. All the information from the public uh, is beneficial uh, to these detectives. There's been no suspect information released by RPD just yet, but we do understand from sources there might be some movement on that pretty soon. Now, we have learned a little bit more information about the man who was killed. We're told he was a manager here at this family-run store and a young father. Anyone with information is asked to reach out to police. You can also call Crime Solvers, that no, Stopper, excuse me, that number is 780-1000. Reporting in South Richmond, Jake Burns, CBS 6.